This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we are so excited to welcome back Chef Tim Kelly from Chapel Grill. This week's roadie deal, or I should say, it was this week's roadie deal. It already sold out. Sold out. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah. That is phenomenal. <laughs> we told you, they go fast. Like but concert tickets. Exactly. Well, whether you <laughs> purchase the roadie deal or not, it's a great place. You have a lot going on. And a lot going on in our kitchen. Our counter is full. What are we making today? Yeah, you know, I said, I'm going to do this very simple Marseille bouillabaisse, base. And then I lay it out and <laughs> I, so I, I filled the place. But simple in terms of ingredients. You, yeah. you have a lot of this stuff. You can easily find a lot of this stuff. So I shop this retail. So the recipe Perfect. works. Good. So you can get everything at the grocery store. I focus on New England seafood. We have lobster, little necks, codfish, mussels, scallops, calamari. Oh my gosh. Um, and then how make, are we going to jazz it up here? What well, do we need we're going to make, gonna make basically make a soup. Okay. Leeks, garlic, olive oil, sweat them down, tomatoes, clam juice, white wine. Uh, key flavors, perno, anise. Anise is kind of the, the back note of, yeah, of the back note flavor here. Flavor, Marseille right? bouillabaisse from the south of France. Okay, that's what okay. I was wondering because I've seen other bouillabaisse on the menu. I was wondering We're going to serve it Marseille. traditional with Rui and nice crusty bread. The idea is here when you're eating it, mm -hmm. you get the bread and the Rui, get it in the juice. What <sighs> is the Rui? Rui, I do a potato based one. It's much oh. healthier. Oh, yeah. ah. It can be done with bread, potato. It's basically like an aioli that's thickened with potato. Oh, yeah. So it's got garlic, olive oil, some cayenne pepper. It's got a little bite to it. That sounds that really good. That kind of thing. Good. It's a little condiment that you. Oh, yeah. And you have some good, like, crusty bread. Yeah, if when you get done eating like all the this, seafood and you got that, that, that broth left in the bottom of the Yum. bowl. We'll get to that later. Okay, we so. will. And we have other things to chat about, too, and flights and bites and everything else that you could think of. Uh, plus, this is going on their brand new menu. So we'll tell you more about that. And we'll tell you how to make it in just a bit. Welcome back. Here we are in the Roadshow Kitchen once again with Tim Kelly from Chapel Grill. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Always nice to have you here. Thank you. Are we making, correct me if I'm wrong, Marseille bouillabaisse? We are. Marseille, South Parlez of France. Parlez-vous Francais. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Brendan. Comment allez-vous? No! <laughs> you were absent that day. <laughs> but let's talk about what you've been doing in here, sir. You've been hard at work. Well, we have everything kind of ready. I want to show a couple techniques, Okay. first of all. Um, I, we start with sweating our leeks, but I want to show you how to clean them first. So I, I cut, I diced them up. Leeks are sandy. Okay. Warm water gets more of the sand out. If you're going to cook something right away, warm water, anything sandy, get it in there, swish it around like quite All a right. bit. Doesn't right? need to be red hot, just tepid? What just tepid. Okay. And what happens, just let it go. All the sand sinks to the bottom, the leaks come to the top. You take them out that way as opposed to dumping them and putting the sand back in. I liked that sound. I felt like I was at the beach or at an aquarium. Oh, yeah, you like Here that? it is. It's so, so soothing. <laughs> We can record that. You can play it. Make on it my hand. ringtone. Exactly. So what else can we do? All right. So we have the. I put some in. We have some cooking now. Sweating. This is key. If you can. Oh yeah. It brings out the sweet. It's very nice. You know. So you want to cook it very slow until it really melts down. It's like a sauna in the Roadshow Kitchen today. Sauna the leeks. There you go. Perfect. But I want to show you something else. All right. Um, we're gonna make one of these babies. A sachet. Okay. Think like a tea bag. All right. This is all the flavor that we're putting in there. So over here. We have pull the old switcheroo. There you go, buddy. We have orange zest, thyme, parsley, some peppercorns, and we're basically it's like rolling a burrito. Right. You just roll it all up. This is a, a flavor infused package. All right. It's all packed right. with flavor. Right. And then we just kind of like he this. He called it a flavor infused package. I like that. Flavor infused package. We tie it up. I tie it to the side of the pot. See how I get that going over there? I like that. That way it's easy to find later. Sure, no, pull the little switch around yeah, again. switch again. It's quite the dancing so going on in the Roadshow Kitchen today. We tie it to the side of the pot. That way you don't lose it. Mm -hmm. So later on when this is all done, it's easy to pull out and you don't have bay leaves and thyme and all this stuff floating around in your Marseille bouillabaisse. base. It's genius. You, yeah. sir, are a culinary master. So we'll continue. No, no. <laughs> I learned it from somebody else. Oh, he, he's, I didn't want to come right out and say it, but it's clearly no, Traditionally, me. like, this would be a piece of leek. Awesome. Right? So we'll continue to follow your lead this morning. At the end of the show, it'll be like a taste explosion. Oh, we're going to do it. This is the man right here, Tim oh, yeah. Kelly from Chapel Grill. The Roadie Deal is sold out, of course, but you can check everything out at roadiedeals.com. Learn more about what he's up to. We'll continue to do that as the morning rolls on. For now, back to you. Well, we told you that the roadie deal is sold out, and there's good reason for it, because the food over at Chapel Grill is top-notch. Chef Tim Kelly has been uh I'm trying to stay out of his here. way. Well, yeah, I mean, he's got a lot going on. We are making the booyah base. I was trying to sneak a ladle out. Okay. Do you need one? We'll see if I can find one over here. Here's what we you have our leeks thing. sweating, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to move right along. Tomatoes. These are chopped tomatoes. They're two 28-ounce cans. Bought them at the grocery store. Okay. So I know it works. 
clam juice right in. Okay. Like you said, it looks like a lot of ingredients, but you're just dumping them all into one Yeah, I mean, I pot, simplified so. this. At the restaurant, it's a little more complex. We make lobster stock. We do a lot of little mm -hmm. things like that. He looks but, like a mad scientist in the lab. But pouring, here, we're, we're going to keep it simple. I'm okay with it. Yes. Pernod, Pernod, anise what liqueur. Like I was Ooh. saying earlier, anise is the back flavor on this whole thing. It smells like good and plenties. Cracked <laughs> fennel. <laughs> so we have like all, that, all that goes in. We let that cook for about mm, an hour, and then we start adding our shell fit or we go with I do them in sequence because okay. these take the longest to cook yes yeah, so, so the little the necks are in order. we go little necks about two three minutes codfish about four minutes depending on the size yep. mussels then about about three minutes scallops about three minutes then when everything looks kind of done mm -hmm. calamari right at the end we're gonna mm -hmm. do we're right at that point right now all oh, right okay we have this going so bring us up to speed and, and you mentioned it really should you let that sit for a while before you add everything to get those flavors going that has to go an hour do it the okay. day before it really yeah does. okay yeah get ahead i of did the this game. one nice. last night okay perfect make sure the recipe works too yeah so. well i love that with soups I mean, and chili sometimes you let them sit overnight and yeah. they get even better at the Absolutely. restaurant we're doing five gallons so at a time so we have everything in here right now except for the there he goes right oh in with the hand. step back we'll put that right in there Yum. what a, we were saying about before this segment what a gorgeous presentation i mean you went above and beyond mm -hmm. this morning this all looks spectacular and just certainly a small sampling of what's available at chapel grill a great place well, if you haven't been there before People we have to a check lot it going out. on. We have a lot going on. I just launched over here. We have this bits, bites, and flights menu okay. at our okay. bar. And tell us what you brought along because okay. it looks so good. Bits, olives with little pistachio fried capers on top, olive oil. You know, oh just gosh. get in there with your bread. Some of my favorite things. While you're at the bar having wine. Mm -hmm. uh, I call that Nana's dip because it's it's my Nana's recipe. Well, what's in it? Is That's it a very secret? Sweet. It's a uh, secret. Uh -oh. secret <laughs> no, uh, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, olives. Um, I put a little roasted pepper in there. Yeah. It's Nana's recipe. It's Tweak, a little tweaked a little there you bit. Go. Awesome. Okay. Cheese and crackers. Really, really nice. Then this is roasted cauliflower. So good. Mm -hmm. So um, roast it in the oven. Toss it with a little sweet chili sauce. Spicy peanuts, cauliflower. People are going crazy over that. I'm and going then, crazy over these right here. Oh, the duck wings. Oh man. My favorite. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, Confit the duck wings. That means we cook them in duck. We marinate them in spices, and mm -hmm. we put those little star anise garlic like that. Uh, marinate them, cook them real slow, three hours. Wow. Drain them out. Fry them in the fryer till they're crispy. And then Spicy right here. orange marmalade, sesame wow. seeds, yuzu, tahini sauce. This flight is on time. Take a look at that right there. <laughs> flights. So we have pre-chosen flights, like you can get four yeah, wines that our uh, sommelier comes up with, or you can pick your own. That and sounds awesome. So you can sit there, Plenty have snacks, options. sip wine, great Eat stuff. Base. Order the whole menu. You've get the bouillabaisse. You've done such a magnificent job here. The time has flown by. We're out of time in this segment, but it all looks spectacular. We'll get a nice final shot of this at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. This is Chef Tim Kelly from Chapel Grill. Thank you very much for being here, sir. Great job, as always. Thank to you. get more information, <laughs> to get the recipe, you know what to do. Just head to roadmap.com. Yeah, get go. it there. We